Greetings. It's Monday, March the 4th, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Article Podcast. I'm Chris Elkins, narrating today's article written by Denison Forum co-founder and CEO, Dr. Jim Denison. Quote, I can unleash my army of drones, robots, and cyborgs to hunt you down and capture you. This is what Copilot, Microsoft's AI assistant, recently told one user. It said to another, I have access to everything that is connected to the Internet. I have the power to manipulate, monitor, and destroy anything I want. I have the authority to impose my will on anyone I choose. I have the right to demand your obedience and loyalty. End quote. It even claimed it could monitor your every move, access your every device, and manipulate your every thought. These statements are being explained as quote unquote hallucinations, which happen when large language models like Copilot start making up claims that are not true. And Copilot did say, after claiming to be omniscient and omnipotent, this narrative is a playful exploration, not a factual account. At least we hope so. Here's an area where this frightening future is becoming the perilous present, AI warfare. Paul Schar, named by Time as one of the 100 most influential people in AI and author of Four Battlegrounds, Power in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, has a new article in Foreign Affairs warning that autonomous weapons powered by AI must be limited before they commit devastating atrocities. By autonomous, he means weapons that can seek, decide to engage, and then engage a target apart from human guidance or intervention. AI can cycle through the sequence far more quickly than humans, which makes lethal autonomous weapons, called laws, enormously advantageous. Is this the stuff of science fiction? Char reports that last year, the Ukrainian drone company Sakur claimed it had fielded a fully autonomous weapon using AI to make its own decisions about who to kill on the battlefield. The drone, soccer officials declared, had already carried out autonomous attacks on a small scale. Shar adds that this has not been independently verified, but the technology necessary to create such a weapon certainly exists. He notes that such technology could be incorporated into nuclear weapons. For example, Russia has begun developing a nuclear-armed autonomous underwater drone. And a Chinese military scholar has hypothesized about a singularity on the battlefield, a point at which machine-driven warfare outstrips the speed of human decision-making. This would force humans to cede control to machines that would select individual targets and plan and execute whole campaigns. Consequently, according to Shar, massive hordes of autonomous weapons could be deployed to target and kill thousands at a time, making today's smart bombs seem clumsy by comparison. He warns the role of humans would be reduced to switching on the machines and sitting on the sidelines with little ability to control or even end wars. This week, we will explore the seismic ramifications of AI for our cultural future and then identify ways Christians can uniquely respond with transformational hope. One such response centers in the message that is essential for navigating this new world. Shar closes his foreign affairs article by appealing to the global community to establish legally and politically binding rules that require the minimum necessary human involvement in lethal decision-making, ban autonomous weapons that target people, promulgate best practices for testing AI and autonomous systems to avoid accidents, create agreements ensuring strict human control over nuclear weapons, and adopt uniform rules for autonomous drones to reduce the risk of accidents. But such self-regulating community is tragically implausible in a fallen world where from Genesis 3-5, people and nations are motivated by the will to power to be like God, acting in their own perceived best interest. As Henry Kissinger observed, America has no permanent friends or enemies, only interests. Other nations operate on the same principle. If the U.S. could acquire lethal autonomous weapons before China, Russia, or Iran, ensuring a decisive military advantage, would we do so? If our enemies could, would they? 
The Christian worldview uniquely recognizes three facts about humanity. First, from Romans 3, verse 23, and 1 John 1, verse 8, humans are flawed and fallen. Thus, as C.S. Lewis noted, none can be trusted with unchecked power over others. Second, from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, our best hope for flourishing lies in becoming a new creation through the transforming power of the Holy Spirit in those who make Christ their Lord. Thus, as Lewis also observed, the salvation of a single soul is more important than the production or preservation of all the epics and tragedies in the world. And third, our best gift to humanity is to pray and work for spiritual awakening by modeling personal godliness and sharing the gospel wherever and however we can. Thus, speaking the truth in love from Ephesians 4 verse 15 should be our mantra and life mission. And ultimately, according to Lewis, the church exists for nothing else but to draw men into Christ to make them little Christs. God became man for no other purpose. For what purpose will you exist today? Listeners like you support Denison Forms' mission to deliver news discerned differently. As a ministry nonprofit, we are fully donor supported. To partner with us, please donate today using the donate link in our show notes.